Hey guys, Pretzel here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about some more Godzilla figure news. The first thing that we have up for today is something that I need to just address. Uh, someone apparently found on Walmart.com that Playmates Toys is making a Godzilla vs. Kong Mecha King Ghidorah figure. This is fake. It is not real. It has been proven to be fake and has even been confirmed from Playmates themselves that this is fake and that they have no plans on making a Godzilla vs. Kong King Ghidorah or Mecha King Ghidorah. But that doesn't say that they won't make a King Ghidorah or Mecha King Ghidorah, you know, just themselves. You know, of course, the older versions, not saying that there's going to be a Mecha King Ghidorah in Godzilla vs. Kong because... I don't think there is. That's a very low chance. There's already one thing that's going to be in the film that has already confirmed. But definitely not Mecha King Dora. Next we have is new images of Playmates Godzilla 2021 Atomic Breath version. We've already seen this figure before, which is why it's new images, but clear images of the figure. And, you know, it looks pretty cool, I guess. Uh, I like the translucent dorsal fins, as I stated my last time that I talked about this figure. I think the translucent dorsal fins are pretty cool. But, like I said, it's basically just like a kind of like a classic Godzilla, but with a battle scar. And it seems that the battle scar is going to be constant throughout all of the Godzilla vs. Kong figures. But there might be some that don't have it. I don't know. I can't say for sure. Well, of course, the giant Godzilla and Kong ones don't have it. But possibly all the 6-inch ones have them. And everything else doesn't. But can't say for sure yet. Also, the Playmates Godzilla vs. Kong figures have started to show up in Walmarts. But this is like... Like, very, very few Walmarts, so, you know, if you want to check your Walmart to see if they have it, then, then go ahead, but it's very low chance that uh, anyone will have it at their Walmarts. I haven't checked mine yet, but personally, I don't think mine will. If mine does, then I will feel special, and I will I will only buy the 6-inch uh, Kong with Battle Axe, and that'll be the only one that I buy, because I have no plans on buying anything else besides that because that's the only one that I find interesting but just to let you guys know that those are out there and very very little possibility at your Walmart also the figures have already been released in Hong Kong and China so if you're watching this and you live in that area and you don't know that they're released in your area then there you go. They're released in Hong Kong and China. Next we have is a new Playmates 6-inch Godzilla 12... I can't, I can't talk. <laughs> 2004. I keep on trying to say 2014 is what I keep on saying. But we'll talk about 2014 later on in the video. We have a new 6-inch Godzilla 2004. And I gotta say, this looks absolutely awful this is <laughs> this is so bad and personally i think this is the worst that playmates has released like this is better than the shin godzilla one that they released this is just so bad it looks so bad like the overbite is like the <laughs> oh, man something just happened to this godzilla godzilla I don't know, he, he needs some plastic surgery, legitimately. Because, <laughs> you know, it's plastic, so. It's a joke, okay? I'm trying to be funny. Alright, next we have is, we have a list of upcoming Playmates Godzilla figures. Uh, this comes from Kaiju News Outlet and Kaiju Kings. So, thanks to them for allowing this to uh, be reported so I could report it 
Uh, the first one that we are going to have upcoming is the Godzilla 1974, which is pretty cool. Next is Godzilla 2014, which is, you know, why I was getting mixed up with 2004 and 2014, because there is a new Playmates Godzilla 2014, which is pretty interesting. So, we'll have a new Godzilla 2014 figure. And we also have a Burning Godzilla uh, personally, I think this is going to be the Burning Godzilla from 1995, or, you know, Godzilla versus, Godzilla vs. Destroya. So, I don't think it's going to be the 2019 one. It could be, but I doubt it. Next we have is our first look at the NECA Godzilla 1989 Biolante Bile version box, which is pretty cool. And also, the figure has already been released in Hong Kong and China. So that's, you know, again, if you live in the area and you don't know of that, then if you think about getting this guy, then there you go. Also, we have a first look at the NECA Godzilla 2003 Hyper Maser Blast version box. So that's also equally pretty cool. Though I haven't seen this poster before, so that's interesting. I think it looks pretty cool, but I, I'm not really a fan of the like the explosion that's next to Godzilla's face on the poster. I think that it looks weird, but you know it's whatever. The figure that we can see inside the box uh, does appear to have that weird blue coloration that is on the dorsal fins. Uh, which again is very weird not sure why that is why it is but what's whatever personally i don't think the hyper maser blast version is a really good figure i don't think it's i mean it's of course it's gonna have good sculpts and good articulation but that's only because it's the same exact figure as the other one it's just different paint job but you know i don't like the paint job on this one i just i just don't the uh the 19 89 Biolante Bile version, on the other hand, I like. I, I, I do like that one. Next we have is we have U.S. Price Roundup for the SH Monster Arts Biolante Special Colored version. So if you want to know the price for the figure, uh, depending on where you're going to be buying it, then here you go. Me, personally, I'm going to be buying it from Amazon, so I'm going to have to do some more saving. I have started saving up some money, but I had to buy a few things for stop motions and doing custom figures, so now I'm down $25. But I'll save up some more, and hopefully I'll be able to get it. And hopefully it's not going to be, like, sold out, because that would be, that would suck, you know, getting a figure that you really want in it sold out. Next we have is a Godzilla model kit which is pretty cool. Uh, from what I can see from this, I think it's like a re-release of like a previous Godzilla model kit, but like by a different company, which is interesting. And also the new thing that comes with this is that it has a new glow-in-the-dark feature. This will be $33 and released sometime in September. But I have no idea where you can, like, pre-order this from, so... Uh, maybe it's, like, on multiple websites, like Amazon and whatnot, so... Buy it from Amazon, I guess. But I, I won't be buying this, because I got no use for that at all. Next we have, we have new images of the Mondo News Godzilla 1989 and Mothra 2003 statues... So, that's pretty cool. I like the Mothra one. I think the Mothra one looks really good. But, you know, it's just statues, so I can't really say much. I'm not really a huge fan on statues. I do think the details and whatnot on statues are really good, though. But, that's just because they're, they are, they're statues. Action figures tend to not has, have as much detail as statues do. Unless it's, like, a cheap statue, then course that's not gonna really have any detail at all lastly we have a sneak peek at the new spiral studios of burning godzilla 2019 statue this is really cool um 
interesting to know what to see the final product of this. Uh, this is made by a collaboration of, uh, I'm gonna butcher this name, uh, Tanaka Studios. Did I pronounce that right? I don't, I don't think I did. And Matt Frank, which is really cool. If you don't know who Matt Frank is, he makes amazing art. Uh, I really like his Godzilla and Kong art. I think his art is one of the best that I've seen. And regarding Godzilla and that kind of stuff, there's a lot of a lot of good Godzilla artists out. And this is one of the, well, my, for me personally, I think one of the best. So, I think it's pretty cool that he gets the opportunity to make something that's going to be like an actual statue. So, that's really cool. That's a really cool opportunity. But, that is it for this video. Um, I got nothing else to talk about. But, there is something that I do actually want to talk about that isn't Godzilla related. Uh, I want to discuss something about links being in the comment section. Um, recently, I have been having a lot of links in my videos that are too inappropriate content, and I do not want that on my channel. I do want it in the comment section, and I posted a comment on this in one of my other videos saying to like report anyone who or let me know if anyone puts a link in the comment section I, I should have been more clear on that if if someone puts a link in the comment section and it's like obviously for Amazon or Big Bad Toy Store or something that is pretty obvious to something that isn't bad like a website to a store then those are fine but if it's a website that you don't know of or that I don't know of, that's when it really becomes an issue. But of course, people aren't going to know that it's not like, oh, I'm going to post this link and like they not, they're not going to know if I know of the link or not. So if someone does put a link in the comment section, if anyone sees it, just, just let me know and I'll, I'll reply to know if it's good or bad if it's bad that'll probably just delete the comment but i would imagine at least 90 percent of the time that it's actually going to be something for that's something that's good so i just wanted to mention that so no one you know if they put a link in the comment section they don't get like oh i'm gonna be banned from this account or something like that no that's not gonna happen but if it's something bad then consequences a little bit deep or something like that I don't know <laughs> I'll probably just uh, delete the comment if you do it again I'll probably just block you so whoever you bastards are who are doing that then you better listen close because I'm gonna coming for you <laughs> but anyways that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time bye